There we go, colorful. WGL winner of 2021. He had a solid tournament so far. Not the greatest, I guess, but definitely better than Moon. Was always pretty competitive, I think. For Colorful, it's a little bit of an issue to lose against uh, Kaho. That was not to be expected. And I guess the worst things for Colorful have yet to come, so... He kinda has to win this. Both have to win this. If they want to compete for the top four spots, which give you an easier opponent in the next round. I still, I didn't write down what that means. But colorful, damn, where is he ahead? Oh, that's Moon, right? Moon is the red player. Yeah, it has to be. We all know that colorful is a good player, but we also... We also know that he has to improve his micro macro decision making, positioning, etc, etc, etc. Starting on Twisted, that's nice. Second time we get Terranus today. God damn, what's up? With these guys picking Terranus. It's not really a good map. But uh, in Night of Mirror, I can kind of understand it. We're starting on Twisted. I'm not even sure what the standard strategy is on Twisted. We see it so rarely. Probably Hans. But okay, neutral ground twisted meadows. I don't think this will last very long. As it's usually a rush uh, play, but we could also see a lot of zeppelins and lots of bases. I hope I'm wrong. I hope we get a 40, 50 minute classic with seven bases on each side. Grubby did a wonderful impression of 2022 Night Elves and their Huntress obsession yesterday. Are they? I would love to see that. I would love to see a clip. I can give you an impression of all the players. Night Elf, Human, and Undead are. <laughs> <laughs> can't play this, can't play that. <laughs> and Orc is like, yeah, nice patch, bro. <laughs> okay, I see. <laughs> Uh, it seems like we have some join box. Whenever we end up on this uh, screen, it's clearly an indicator that the match is not coming together well. Beastmaster mess hunts in 2004, now Keeper mess hunts in 2022. I mean, can you blame them? It's some pretty ladies riding on a panther that attack multiple units at once. Pretty good. And they got owls. Oh, there is a clip. As the game doesn't start, let's see. The Grubster himself on Back to Warcraft streams, rare sight. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay, I see where this is going. <laughs> Hey, how can I? Wins so much easier with mass huntresses. So here's the evolution of Night Elf. 2003, <laughs> mass huntress, beast master. Just <laughs> run huntresses into burrows nonstop and summon twisted meadows, rock golems, and, and fur bogs and stuff. Savic uh, knows about this. He's now uh, the Hearthstone player. He used to be called Uber Elf. 
That's 2003 Night Elf. Grubby's then a good slowly, monkey. 2004, 2005, 2006, 2007, 2009, 2010, <laughs> and then back to 2020. <laughs> That's pretty spot on. Yep, it's all the way back to the original Stone Age form. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> I enjoyed that a lot. You can say uh, a lot of good things about Grubby. He is, among other things, a very good content creator. <laughs> very good. Also very good is that we have a game. Oh, I got tears in my eyes. Ah, here we go. Moon on his way to finally winning a map. <laughs> Over we go. What do we got? Potom versus Ooh, Keeper. And this music is very, very loud. That's nice. And uh, it's colorful playing the keeper. Did not necessarily expect it. Moon with the bottom, okay. Maybe Demon Hunter is just not a good fit for Twisted in general. Because of his creeping capabilities. And he was probably so sure that Demon Hunter doesn't work that he can play keeper. And keeper is amazing. Treants for creeping and tangle against Huntress. I love it. So yeah, Moon has to go mass. This can still be powerful if he opens up Merc Camps, maybe. Last hit. Goes to the Keeper. Very good. So again, doesn't seem to be the best opening of all time for Moon. Yeah, Moon has to overwhelm with mass. And ideally he would love to drain some Moon Juice now with for something. Yeah, it's very dramatic. It's a very important match. Oh, he finds the Ancient! That's not good. I mean, it is good if you're a colorful fan. Could he have woken up the creeps? He is indeed draining some mana now. There's no wisp nearby. He's trying now. He's trying now. Oof, can Moon hold this? There's one. No, he can't repair. There's still a tree and hacking and slaying away. New wisps. Man, Moon salvaging this last second. That could have been a disaster and probably ruined Moon's entire game. If he can't unfold Mass Huntress, then it's basically over. So now, Moon kinda got what he wanted and drained a lot of mana. Maybe that was calculated. Maybe that was calculated. <laughs> Moon with a little bit of a cosplay in the bottom right. What's up with that? <laughs> Is that a glitch on the stream? That's awesome. Ah. <laughs> If only you'd activate your windows, huh? That's a lot of hurt archers here, plus Searing Arrow unlocked. Moon is starting to get quite good in this game. He's always been a beast in Warcraft 3, of course. Bottom three. That's what he needed. Dark Ranger second. Interesting choice by Colorful. Against Archers. I can totally understand that. Black Arrow against Hans. Hmm. Uh oh. Uh oh. 
nose around here. That's a lot of archers, guys. That's a lot of archers. So if everything is going according to plan, Colorful holds this, but one archer caught, second one healed, moon juice is not lasting forever. Wait, is the keeper stuck? Looks like it! Ooh, colorful! That's not the greatest position! All the wisps drain the mana, no entangle. No treants to help on this defense, but also no APs currently. This is a wonky game. Gotta recharge a little bit. What is Colorful doing at daytime? Maybe that's what Moon is waiting for? Go back to 50. He wasn't able to jump on too many archers, but he took out two of them, I guess. Fly <laughs> just refusing to... <laughs> oh, man. To get rid of that nose! It's so distracting. Maybe he gets more oxygen in his brain that way? Maybe it, it maybe it's helping. Can someone explain why people moved away from Bear Mirror? Uh probably a timing thing. You can be overwhelmed by hunts. It's just a lot more variety. You can even be outmassed by expansions and mass dryads. And that's the 50 pop push. No glaives, just straight up hunts. But nice TP. Summons in the front. Dark Ranger damage is of course good. Would love to see life drain actually. Doesn't need it now, but later. And colorful going hippo riders that I live to see the day. This should be a hold, shouldn't it? The longer the game goes, the more powerful is colorful's tech becoming. But yeah, there's of course some anti-air uh, with the pot of, with berserkers. So it's not the overwhelming strat. Moon's the last chances here. As it is daytime. There's no moon juice except the one on the left hand side. Dark range about to fall. All oh my god. One archer after the next just gets obliterated. And you know what? I said the longer the game goes, the better it is for colorful. Moon with a tactical genius decision. End the game quick. This push is really good. And now you're stuck. With fairies and talents? Good luck with that. Yeah, the mercs opened up the way from pro what's becoming Moon's first win in the tournament. Map win in the tournament. Bottom level 5 just outscaling this keeper. Dark Ranger combo so hard. And I wonder why Dark Ranger? To me that doesn't make much sense. Moonwell after Moonwell is falling. And the damage is just way too sick. Once he opened up the Merc camp, things are... Things were moving into Moon's direction. There's quite some damage now on Hunts, but no AoE, no Panda to be worried about, no army in general. Killed seven archers here in this push. And what more? Dive! 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 Oh, potion last second. Can't be a little overcommitment as he's fighting the tree, but Moon is fully aware that that is a kill. And that's his first map, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, on day four of the tournament, Moon Meadows once again. And this worked well. This worked really well. But colorful, some questionable decisions, no? The first hold was quite nice. 
He pushed Moon back seemingly with ease. But then Dark Ranger? Ancient of Wind? Maybe he forgot about the Hunter's Hall and had no other choice? Alright. Colorful. Losing to Kaho, winning against Lin, and then losing to Focus. Not on the greatest track at the moment. Against the player who has some catching up to do. Oh, I guess the stream title is wrong. Sorry about that clickbait. Not intended for once. But yeah, very, very happy that we moved away from bears. And now we move away from Twisted onto Northern Isles. Yeah, that overcommitment on the engine of war, that was a key moment in the game. As he was blasting through all the mana and got burned a lot of mana. And then the keeper couldn't do anything anymore. So Northern Isles. Also a map that we don't see too often in Night Elf Mirror, I think. But yeah, we're back to Demon Hunter. That was to be expected. This doesn't necessarily mean that it's Bear Mirror. Could still be mass range, could still be talents. And on Colorful side, this could definitely be Bears. Sick and bad, waiting for my boss to either email or call me angrily, but at least I have my dog Neo and some excellent Walker 3 matches. Get well soon, Mr. J. I wonder who's the better caster, me or your dog? It's probably close. But alright, this will be a more patient play. A slower game. But items decide a lot. And three. So, uh, moon a little later with the hero shouldn't make the biggest difference. Oh, whoa, 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 circlet and slippers? That's sick. That's really good. That's the best job you can hope for. And I like Colorful's, yeah, Illusions as well. I like Colorful's early game here. Good recovery. Established two base, two base. Moon has played some expansion mass dryad play against the typical bears. Moon is seriously the last player I expect to go bears. It's a lot about tavern control at the beginning of tier two, and we're quite far away, but I feel like Colorful has better items, better tech. Hopnas 9. <laughs> How is this winnable for Moon? It's unfair. It's just unfair items. And yeah, for Moon, it's just some stupid ring. Yeah, it's uh, 
When you see the drops, Moon, when you see the drops. Expansion's cleaned up. Moon, like, if he never takes a fight, that's not gonna be a factor. Boss Force, thank you very much for the sub. 25 already. Hey, hey. Yeah, he sees the Demon Hunter now. Probably an urge to just tap out. Hunter Souls does both line up. Yeah, as I said, I would be very, very surprised to see Bears from Moon. Kind of interesting that neither player is orienting himself around the tavern. It usually is the case and you go Naga and then there's a fight, but there we go. Keeper. Just like Lawlight did. Instant Keeper. Well, that does speak in favor of Bear Mirror. But yeah, big pressure play by Colorful coming, of course. Very fragile position for Moon. Demon Hunter hurt. Colorful's Demon Hunter is an absolute beast. He's just diving into the base. And the Keeper is just slow, and that's why you usually pick the Naga. It's still great crowd control. She's just there, thanks to coming from the tavern. And this is the loss cancelled, and this turns out to be a disastrous, disastrous game for Moon so far. Moon World's all used at three quarters, trying to go for the kill. The Naga is, of course, squishy. And tier three. Cute in his face. Oh, the lore cancelled. This is such a huge delay. Can you just... No, he can't turn around and kill the lore again, I think. If it goes on, cost, uh, on the cost of a couple of archers, it's totally fine. That's the price you're willing to pay. Keeper outscales Naga in the very, very late game, but will there even be time? Double lures up, tier 3 started. Not unwinnable for Moon, but just so hard. The Keeper is having impact. Oh, come on, really? 7 HP? Weird engagement. Should you really go for an engagement against Naga and this demon hunter? He kills an archer with three swipes. Moon's army will come together slower thanks to the absence of the second lore, which is only fixed now. Colorful's timings really work out well. And he has map control now, with the Demon Hunter so bruised. And this could be the Vampire. The classic counter to the thorns. <laughs> He's plus 20 without roar. Yeah, Fly is, uh, Fly is enjoying this inventory as well. Oof! And there's gonna be an orb, probably. That's so sick. I really wonder how this is supposed to go. Like, what is Moon's plan from here on out to win the game? Zeppelin drop, I guess, is the best shot. Like, base race in general. Wow, Colorful is ruining the Superman Demon Hunter by handing over the claws. It's a damn shame. 
it's still pretty good though. And a heal potion, which is one of the best items. So, Entangle Thorns. The Keeper is of course now quite useless if we go to base race, because there's no Treants, and yeah, Thorns are uh, better in direct fights. And he doesn't have AoE at all against Wisps. Moon might be smart enough to maneuver around that. Moon's plan is to hope for a massive electricity outage. <laughs> yeah, that's a good uh, that's a good plan. Oh, bear snipe maybe? Oof, 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 oof. Zeppelin is here. Okay, that's one part of the of the drop. Yikes. Nothing is going according to plan for Moon. He got a staff and he got an orb. That's kind of fine. But it feels like the demon hunter can solo this. Yeah, he's portaling bad it, it, without doing a single point of damage. And with losing a moon well, Ooh, this is expensive. There's a little bit of catch here, that's good. But there's also a, a heal scroll, first attack upgrade. I can't really find a point in this game where moon is ahead. And he thinks so too. Whoa, 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 whoa. Owned by RNG Jesus. And better timings. Colorful played this really well. This is where he's the strongest in the straight up bear mirror. He's also pretty lucky with items most of the time. And we end up on 1-1. One, one. This is where it counts now. This is where Moon has to show all his class On Terrana Stand. Another classic bear mirror map. Lawliot had a very interesting approach by pushing with Engine of War, Moonwell, and Shop. Second time we see Terrana Stand today. This is a lot of momentum for Colorful now, but this was also a lot of item luck. Did he use all his item luck? O on this map, we have a quick to open mercenary camp, which will help a lot. This might support moon strategies. It's also easier to expand, which also supports moon strategies. But bears are also very good. Okay, everything seems playable here. Let's see what these guys are going for. Yeah, mercenary camp start is granted. There's nothing better on this map. You get Shadow Priest, you get Berserkers, you get a big item. You also get a combat item. Why would you go for any other spot than this? Question, can someone steal a Shadow Priest, maybe? We got two more games afterwards. Happy is playing next against Kaho. And then we got Law Light versus Focus coming up as well, as you can see on the bottom left. Okay, Moon. Proof that this was just a one-off and that you can still do it. Demon Hunter openings, no bottom.
And again, it's a bit about items. Who gets the stronger demon hunter? Who can contest the middle faster? And who might get a big heal potion to be able to trade? Lightning shield applied. All right, this looks so far so good. Detonating against it, okay. And yeah, the demon hunter, oh, moon with the slippers. That's good. First step to contest the middle. Ooh, no, 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 no! Oh my god! The engine of war goes down, moon! What in the hell? This is, he did this spot a million times in his life. Was this forced by the detonate of Colorful's lightning shield? I don't, this shouldn't be, shouldn't be. Wasn't there a wisp? Yep. He was repairing, but not enough. Moon got the perfect drops. Slippers, heal potion, and then this blunder. And yeah, this is Moon just not in tip-top shape. Just like I said yesterday, there's no shame in losing to Happy. But there were mistakes that are just not allowed on this level. Block could be good. Berserker could be good. Nope. Also, de 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 also denied a creep. Yo, this ain't in a war. Need some punishment for what he did on this map. Staff boots. Trying to buy time. He can't creep. Like, where is he supposed to creep? Without an engine of war. Desperate expo up right already? He puts himself in really rough spots this tournament. Lots of mercs on both sides. So Colorful, unlike the match against Lawliot, not going for expansions. That could help Moon if it's unscouted. And sometimes Colorful is a little sloppy with scouting on a big map like this, so it's not that easy. This could win the game in the long run. Nicely timing down that Shadow Priest timing. Timing down the timing? You know what I mean. Colorful shocking around once again, trying to figure out what the plan is. Where's the Hunter's Hall? Where is your Hunter's Hall? What are you playing? Is the Wisp Exodus a little too obvious? Moon also positioning himself in the middle for the second hero. Hunter's Hall now. Did he just simply forget? Kills the Berserker. Okay, in the fights it's looking good. Double Naga, as it's supposed to be. And then Moon will probably stay on tier 2. Go Mass Dryads. But the Dryads are going to be so late. Judging from this disastrous early game, Moon is doing as best as he can to salvage this game. Colorful is this pesky annoying fly. Still not the greatest idea what's up. There's no wins, there's no lores. What can you do? Expo can no expo not cancelled. Liar! Just rooting, uh, walking over. How does Moon get such an XP lead on the Naga? Killing mercenaries. That's how. 
but seven minutes into the first lore don't 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 okay oh it's a cancel gets the cancel but again good delay on the dryads and naga is creeping up now for colorful that expo is saved as the commander is down and one of the wind who boys what, is, what a match. He who does less mistakes wins the games, I guess. Moon needs excellent controls in the fights. With the Dryads. Because the mass will not be there for a long time. Oh, Shredder! One of the wind to the rescue. That was also close. Demon Hunter! What the hell? Mana burn TP out, saves the Naga. Whoa, that was nice. Didn't get the full camp. Okay, Moon. Maneuvered himself into a position where this is playable. But obviously, it will be Bears vs. Dryads. The bear push will be coming. The tree snipe will be there. Did Colorful figure out what Moon is up to in the upper right though? That's the main question in this game. Heroes, kind of fine. Good advantage for Moon. With Fork Lightning 2 against Bears. But yeah, it's all about more distraction. Getting that expo to pay off. Get the necessary Dryads out. And win the game with that. Shredder is stuck? Really? Didn't see that. Master Bears ready. No push attempt at all. So we're gonna. Oh, okay. Here are the Moon Wells. Was a little worried that Moon's forgetting about them too. He will be at a thousand gold, exploding into upkeep. And then he can take fights, but this colorful want to take fights. Okay, he's walking the right direction now. But Moon should be in position. Must be in position. Bought a TP. That's good. Damage on the Demon Hunter is also good. Colorful sees this. Hey, when? What? Why? How? That's exactly what went through his head. Moon greedy. Unwilling to TP. It's only two bears. He got the time. There's also nature's blessing. Oh, I was so worried he stuck. Okay, greedy, greedy moon. If you win the fight, you might win the game. Note this, but on the dryads. For Colorful, lots of illusions. But they will be dealt with soon. The Dryad's Dance. The bear falls as the staff was on cooldown. The one he got on the Naga. And the Naga level advantage is massive against bears. If not burned, but as they are in the middle of it. Oh, massive fork lightning. Colorful's demon is in trouble, though. He used the potion before. Can't reach, despite the crowd control. Staff is ready and won. Didn't use it. And reach up. Okay, Moon weathered the storm. Is blasting through his bank. Wants this Demon Hunter. He wants this Demon Hunter so bad. Is it too much? The staff is ready. There we go. Nicely done by Colorful to save the staff. Sacrificing the bear. And now you can switch. Exactly. To the Druids of the Claw. Wow. Moon's damage is great. There was barely any Moon Juice left. 
alive! Demon Hunter is dead! Oh Moon! Wins the game after losing the Ancient of War just with the classic Moon expansion and he puts his name on the scoreboard. Finally! After three lost series in a row, he got it done. Against all odds, to be honest. Simply outplaying Colorful. If you can call it simply, because it's definitely not easy. Ooh, okay, he's up, he's on. Little bit of a gift by Colorful, because it was like there was no scouting in the upper right at all. Colorful did a solid job in preventing lores, but Moonman lost the Ancient of War, forgot about the Hunter's Hall, still winning the game. That shows you that with his units that he got, he played pretty well. But now Colorful is in trouble. Colorful is 1 and 3. Same score as Moon and 1 to 0. And uh, he has some rough matches coming up. Here on Liquipedia you can see it, as always. Same score at the bottom. Moon still 1 and 5, that's not too great. But Colorful, he has to play Happy. He has to play Law Lion, And he has to play 1 to 0. Like, holy moly, this is the hardest remaining program of any of the players. Happy also pretty hard, I guess, with Lin and Lawlight. Yeah, this is tough. Moon, on the other hand, he got Lawlight, he got 1 2 0, and he got Kaho. Needs to clean up his game, though, to be able to fight for a rank 4 rank 5. I guess it's a lot about not ending up last because Happy will be first. Probably, maybe, most likely. But all right. We got this one done. We're halfway through the day and speaking of Happy, Emperor's next up against Kao.